Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another layer by layer tutorial. In today's tutorial, I want to add some features to this design. So this is a media dial that my brother actually designed and I'm not exactly sure how he built it in Fusion, but it doesn't really matter because you can kind of get access to all of the uh, features that built this. Um, so here's what the goal is, right? Uh, just as a side note, uh, this is in the Adafruit learning system and all the designs that we put together uh, are open to download, they're open source. So in the 3D printing page, scroll down here and you get access to the Fusion 360 files. Uh, if, you, oh, if you click on that, you will get this right here, which is a browser preview of the design. So you can kind of play around with it here. Uh, what you'd want to do is to download it. There's a download button right up here at the top right, and you want the Fusion 360 archive. So you can upload that into your Fusion 360. So with it, oh yeah. So what we want to do, what I want to do with it is I want to take this part here and add a little bit of features to it, make it a little bit more expanded out. Uh, so I kind of want it to look like this, uh, PowerMate USB by uh, Griffin. Uh, and, and this is kind of the iconic knob, right, where it has this nice base here. It's pretty thick. And then it has a chanfer up here. And then it kind of goes in, and then it kind of comes back out. So we're kind of there. And all I want to do is just add that sort of chanfer in, in uh, offset here to the bottom. So inside Fusion, um, we don't really need to go back in time and kind of rework it into the timeline. I'm just going to draw, I'm just going to add, kind of build on top of this, starting from uh, where Pedro left off. So without kind of understanding exactly how he structured it, you can just kind of browse through here and find out um, what are the solids that I need to work with. So they're inside this circle component, so I'm going to activate that just so that I'm, so my timeline's a little bit more cleaner here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sketching right on this surface. So what I'll do is I'll click on that bottom surface, and I'll go ahead and create a sketch by clicking on the Create Sketch button. And Fusion automatically projects this uh, as a sketch here. So what I'm going to do is instead of drawing a circle, I'm just going to use the Offset tool to offset this edge. So I'll click on that edge and then click on uh, the Offset button or the Offset hotkey, which is the letter O. And right away, I have this, uh, this handle that I can drag and bring out. I also have access to this. Uh, offset position input. So I can add a, a fixed number here. So I'm going to say I want six millimeters. And then I'll hit OK. So now that I have those, that's pretty much all I need to do in terms of drawing sketches. So I'll hit Stop. And what I'll do is I'll select this outer offset, hold down Shift, and select the inner offset. Now what I'll do is I'll extrude these out using the, uh, the hotkey E. And that's the hotkey for extrude. Now I can manipulate this and add a little bit to it. So what I want to do is I actually want to add a little bit up here and a little bit down there. And you can easily do that by changing the direction from one side to two sides. So now I have two different independent extrusions that are happening off of that profile. Uh, however, what I want to do is I just want to make it symmetrical. So there's also that right under two sides is symmetric. So I want this to be symmetric. So I want this to go down about four millimeters. And what I need to do is change the operation from cut to join. And that'll make sure that this extrusion will join to that bottom piece. So that's pretty much all I need to do. And I'll hit OK. Now, that's not, I don't want to add a chanfer quite yet, because I actually want this piece uh, to kind of come into that edge right there. One quick note is uh, I kind of want to hide these just so I can see, I get a better look of this bottom piece. And what's kind of easy to do is you can select any face of a, of a body and hit the letter V on your keyboard. So if I hit the letter V, it'll actually hide it. I'll click away, click on this, and it, and it works with anything. It works with an edge or, or a surface. So I'm going to click just that one edge, and, it'll, and when I hit the letter V, it hides that whole body, which is pretty nice. Really quick way to kind of hide things. So cl remember, click, hit V, and it hides it, and then click away. So now I can get a better look at this guy, right? Next thing I want to do is I want to bring back that sketch. So it's under here, under sketches, under the circle component, and it'll just turn that on. So now what I want to do is I want to extrude that out here with the chamfer. So what I'll do is I'll hit the letter uh, E on my keyboard for extrusion. And I can't really get into that profile. So what I need to do is I need to click and hold. And then I get this kind of, I'm still, I'm still holding the, the mouse button. And what I need to do is I want to select this profile here. So I'll click on that. Now I'll hit, uh, I'll hold down Shift, and I need to select that inner, pro that inner profile circle. So I'll hold down Shift and click and hold until the depth shows up. And then I can uh, 
hold down shift and then click on that profile. So now I have two of them. So sometimes you kind of need to do that uh, instead of just hiding uh, the body. So now what I want to do is I want to start this extrusion from an object, from a surface. And that's going to be from this surface here. The next thing I want to do is I want the extent, instead of adding a distance to it, I want it to be two objects. So I want it to go to somewhere. So I want to say, I want the extrusion to go to this top surface. And the next thing I need to do is update the chain faces. I need to change that to extend the faces and Fusion will let me do that. Uh, the next thing I need to do is change the operation from cut to join and that'll make sure that I join it. Now to add that chamfer is very, very easy. If you hit the tab key, you'll get this degree here or it's actually over here too. It's called taper angle. So, and it's also uh, kind of hard to see, but it's right here, it's ghosted out. It's this little thing here. And that lets you add a, uh, an angle to it. You can kind of flare it out or, or, or make it go inward, which is I want to do. And I want it to be negative 45 degree, uh, which gives me that nice, um, that nice chamfer. Make sure the operation is set to join. Hit OK, and that's pretty much it. I can go ahead and hide that sketch now. And if I turn on all the bodies back, I can get a good look at how this looks as a whole. So I'll turn off all these layers, and that's looking really nice. I think for ergonomics, this will kind of feel better in your hands. You'll have a better base. Uh, there's If you make this completely solid uh, when you're 3D printing it, it'll have nice weight to it, so it'll kind of keep it on your desk. So that's pretty easy, and it's it's fairly, yeah, it's pretty straightforward to kind of build on top of an existing design instead of having to kind of go back and, and try to understand um, how to... Um, add to it before any of these features are made. So it's just kind of easy to come in here and just kind of start sketching on top of surfaces and adding to an existing design. Um, yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this one. Uh, if you're interested in the tutorial, making your own, it's really straightforward and easy to do. Uh, we'll have a link for you in the description. If you guys have any um, suggestions for uh, future tutorials, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you have any tips, drop those in the comments as well. It'll help me out and other people too. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.